Let's look now at another example of integration by parts. Well, I'm going to pick ln x as my u and x to the fifth dx as my dv. And now I want you to pause and figure out what is du and figure out what is v. Well done. du is dx over x because the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. And v, that's basically the integral of, or the antiderivative of x to the fifth, which is x to the sixth over 6. Notice that the u did not have any dx, but the du has a dx. The dv had a dx, but the plane v does not have a dx. And that makes sense. So d, so if there's a d on one, you know, it's an equation. If there's a d on this side, it's a d on that side. If there's no d, then there's no d. That makes sense. It's balanced, and it's fair. Well, my uv is going to be, uh, that's my u and v. So my uv is going to be x to the sixth over six times ln x. And minus the integral of v du, so my v is x to the 6 over 6. Notice I pulled the 1 6 out as a constant. And I have dx, du is v du, so u, du is dx over x. So this becomes x to the 6th, and, and that, that x down there goes over here. So I have 1 6, x to the 6th over 6, and that simplifies to just x to the 5th. Because x to the 6th divided by x is just x to the 5th. And now the integral of this is very simple, uh, x to the 6th, uh, ln x minus x to the 6th over 36 plus c. And what I would like you all to do is to check this answer. How do you check this answer? Funny you should ask. Well, the way you check any integral is that you uh, take the, go to the final answer, take the derivative of the final answer, and see if you get that guy right there that was inside the integral. And uh, if you do that, it'll work. But just in case you don't believe me, here's the answer that we got. I take the derivative, if I'm going to take the derivative of everything, well, this part I, I use the power rule. So f prime g plus fg prime. So the derivative of x to the sixth over sixth is just x to the fifth. Bring down the, the uh, g, that's ln x. The, then I take uh, x to the sixth over six, that's the power rule, times the derivative of the second function, which is one over x. And here, for this guy, I just use a straightforward power rule. And uh, x to the 6th over 36, that's 6x to the 5th over 36. This, uh, this, this here reduces to x to the 6th over 6. This reduces to, I'm sorry, x to the 5th over 6. And this is minus x to the 5th over 6. Notice that these two guys just cancel. And now I just have this, which was my original integrand.